Hello and welcome to A Brit Reacts to Bollywood and it's been a while since I've done any of these purely because I've been working and doing other things and I thought it'd be nice to take a break frankly. I really enjoy interaction with you guys it's something that I always like to go back to it's just a question of fitting it in with uh, the rest of my life and any of you who wish to uh, suggest something and you want me to do it expedited, I'll happily do it. Um, I do take donations and that does incentivize me to, to make these videos as well, because obviously this competes with acting and other things that I have to do in my life. I really keep coming back to actors like Madri Dixit, who really make such a difference in my mind and in my enjoyment of Bollywood films and the classics of Bollywood. Again, I'm not so certain about Bollywood as it is today, Mumbai or, or other uh, cities or parts of India or other language industries in India. I would love to have some suggestions for really meaningful films that are in the last five, ten years um, from other parts of India or from Mumbai. I'd be really interested to see that. Today I want to look at something which is a classic. It's something in the early career of Madhuri Dixit. It's the film Yorana. Now look at this. This is an extraordinarily classic looking poster. <laughs> real character piece by the looks of it you've got a couple of dodgy looking characters at the bottom there one of them's cradling money you've got uh madri dixit in what looks like a sort of period type outfit carrying what looks like a dagger and you've got this hero guy uh set in red behind her i love the the, the format of these kinds of posters with a big gun <laughs> he's got a big gun and hair flopping down his forehead and I like that kind of bold imagery in cinema posters it really entertains me this is a 1995 romantic thriller directed by David Dewan and starring Madhuri Dixit Rishi Kapoor interesting was this before Hamap Kahin Khan or just after it. Raj Babar, Kada Khan and Shakti Kapoor. It's loosely based on the American film Sleeping with the Enemy starring Julia Roberts which was a huge hit at the time in Hollywood and America and the English language world. It's known for the hit song Mera Pia Ga Aya and that's the song I'm looking at today. Yorana won Best Female Playback Singer Kavit Kavita Krishnamurthy for this song, in addition to Best Actress for Dixit. So she won a big award for this at the 41st Filmfare Awards. The lead female is arranged into a marriage because the man is paying the uncle for this, or the father. Her uncle. Okay, a dodgy uncle. That was the guy in the poster with the cradle of money. She's kidnapped. And then she's watched over in, in case she tries to escape. On the day of the wedding, she faints and uses this to escape. She also moves her mother away and barely escapes the man who assumes that she has been killed after he saw her being hit by a car. In fact, she swapped her wedding dress with someone else. Oh my gosh, so the other person was not that person. Okay, there's a spoiler here, but this is an extraordinary plot and I really like the concept. I don't know if it was that popular. The video itself has... 14 million views. I'm really intrigued. I love a big club set showpiece song with Madri Dixit and I can see that she's right in the middle of one here. So let's take a look. <laughs> Such strange editing. Okay. <laughs> Funny. Classic. She's got such good stagecraft and dance skills. Wow. Wow. 
Oh, she's so good. She's so good. Oh, this is so uplifting. <laughs> Bit of comedy character. Wow. <laughs> Such skill. The set is so strange. It's like a montage. Such energy. Oh yeah. <laughs> wow. It's incredible. <laughs> She's so funny. Wow. Yeah. Rishi Kapoor, of course, in a yellow suit, a, a pink suit. I love it. This is such a tune. Yes. So, the, uh, this is such a formula in uh, films from that era, and this is classic Madhuri Dixit 90s decade work, because you just need to put her on a stage. You can have chaotic editing like that, which kind of, I get it, it adds to the energy of the, of the song and the dance. It's an incredible song, by the way. It's a real party kind of banger, and she is such a... 
She's like a, a big musical theatre star. Just put her on a stage and she'll do it for you. You don't need to do much editing. You don't need to do much else. Have a good song and have her. She's got all this, the facial expressions, the dance moves, everything. She brings such a, a level of accomplishment. They've edited it in such a way to make, just to push, push the energy levels up and up. And she's constantly in new and arresting outfits and sets and colorful sets and surrounded by dancers. The, the audience clapping thing at the beginning was so strange, but it obviously works with that. But this all reminds me of songs like Tezab, where she did a very similar thing in that, very similar in the same era, or was it 89 or something? And it re also reminds me of the Rishi Kapoor song for Cars, where he's similarly doing something on a set with a huge audience who are responding to him. It makes perfect sense for that. And I like the way that they've incorporated the plot of the film into it, where you've got one of the characters comedically dancing and then you've got Rishi Kapoor's character arriving, coming through the crowd looking for her or for somebody, presumably. They graft these set piece performances and songs onto the plot and it really catches your attention for those six minutes and obviously if it's a long film it makes sense that it will raise the energy levels again i just think it's such an interesting part of the formula of a bollywood film and the way that it's framed and set up but she it's incredible even at that stage what she was capable of doing and i just adore her what do you think i mean this is just one performance from one film in the 90s and presumably she's done a lot so let me know what you think am i on the right track with this and i'd love to see some more all right i am your brit reacting to bollywood if you've got any tips or info about this song or this film or madri dick shit in that era i'd love to know chin chin thank you cheerio